coincidence, I was in Bangkok only the other day, you know, where I go on a regular basis to get the old rocket polished. And, uh, <laughs> Bangkok is a good name for it too. I, the fellow who named that city had his head screwed on the right way. But whenever I go to old bangers, as we call it in the diplomatic fraternity, I get off the plane, I'm always a little bit stiff. I am due, due to the vibrations of the jumbo. And so when I go to the hotel, I generally ask the old concierge to point me in the direction of an establishment specialising in a bit of in-depth relief massage. You with me? <laughs> this little bloke, this little bloke indicates a place conveniently just round the corner from the hotel that smelt reassuringly of Dettol. And uh, <laughs> I pointed myself in, <laughs> in that direction. And, uh, and uh, well, I pointed myself in that direction and the rest of me followed. And, uh, what I didn't know was that this place was a chiropodist because my request had suffered in translation. You see, and, uh, and so I'd been directed to the wrong place by this little slant-eyed yellow bastard behind the desk. <laughs> oh, please, please. Please, I mean that with the greatest respect, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Please, well, to anyone who happens to be in the concierge community here tonight. <laughs> However, I always ask their advice because of an old saying, I don't know where it is, perhaps in the Gideon Bible. But when you're feeling the urge, ask the old concierge. <laughs> <laughs> so there I am. <laughs> there I am. There I am in this establishment and tell you what, I'm feeling pretty horny. I'm as randy as a rattlesnake, you know. I'm that randy I could root the hair on a barber shop floor. <laughs> and, uh, you know the feeling, fellas, and, I, and I'm shown into a little cubicle. Very small, I think I'm not going to get much more than a knee trembler in here. <laughs> And I'm in there for a while, very toey, very agitated, and all of a sudden a lovely little Thai sheila comes in. Oh, beautiful. She must have had one on her like a mouse's ear. And, uh, and, uh, she's, she's wearing a white uniform and she's got a little tin dish in her hand and a towel over her arm. So I whips out the old purple-headed warrior. <laughs> yeah, I, I flashed my frightener. And, uh, she screams and drops her accoutrement. She said, that's not a foot. I said, no, but it's near enough. I said, <laughs>